before we get started, like and subscribe. So today we will be making super moist cake, chocolate cake, and yeah. So now we are gonna preheat the oven to. 350. Bake. Bake. And now we. Now it's preheating. Now we are gonna spay. Olive oil. Alright, now I get a paper towel and rub it in. This is probably the worst part. Because <laughs> I don't like smelling like olive oil. Well, I hope you all enjoy this video. squirts. So now we are gonna put the spoon right over here. First step is so we are gonna take this and do one fourth of water. You set it down flat, that's how you can tell. I need a little more. You sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sure? That's way too much. How do you know? Because I know what a fourth is. Well, that's, that's too little. But we need a little more. You think? Yeah, we need like. No, one fourth is. You don't even have one fourth on this. The cup is too big. That's one and a fourth. Use your smaller cup. Now, see, one fourth on there. Not one and a fourth. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got confused. Not my. That looks like enough. All right. Now we have to set pour it down. Them. Set it down. And make sure it's at the line. Baking is pretty precise. That's one third. My cat is playing with my apron string. <laughs> not that it's not good, but it's not good. <laughs> Right, is, it, is it at what quarter? open this a little so we don't struggle. A little bit of a mess, it's okay, but try to keep it all in the bowl. I just decided I wanted a cake and happened my mom was going out and so she got stuff over there. Jump. Okay. 
water in. You can probably see that some of it's really liquidy right there. Okay. Now we have to do the oil. That's the part that makes you greasy. So I'm gonna. How much do we need? We need one slash three. That's one third. Cup. We need one third. So same one. Mm -hmm. Just find it on there. Is that is the second one? It's one third or one and a third. This is. Okay, so you needed one and a quarter cups of water. So you need to add another cup of water. So I was correct. You were correct, but you said one quarter, which confused me. So I said just, one one four. Okay, so just add one cup now, because you've already added your quarter. <laughs> okay. We always double check. Check and double check when you're baking. Yeah, because it's very precise. Not the type of person who likes being precise about things, but I like baking. Uh, we need like a little more. Okay, that's enough. Now that is okay. a lot. Of that's the water. Okay, now you need. There's lots of bubbles. One third cup, right? One, one third of oil. Now one and a third, just one third. Yes, I, will, I knew these. you almost made me mix yeah, up the recipe, You're mother. Right. I'm sorry, daughter. So the second line? It says one third. Yep. It says one slash three. Yep. I was correct and knew my measurements, and you were like, no. This is the part that makes me greasy. I hate being greasy. Then you're slimy. You should always have also adult supervision when using the oven mm -hmm. as well. Not much of a change, just a little bit of a swirl. Okay, now your eggs. So you can crack your eggs in there as well. I guess I'll look for the shells. Like just set them on. Just set them on the outside, and then I'll throw them. Ooh, that's and a juicy one. And why do Why do we? Crack them in there first instead of in here. Directly. Because if you get eggshells. Yep. That way you can get them out. And then you can use the shells to just get them out. So how many eggs do you need? Three. Okay. Not all recipes require three eggs. Oh, you do you guys want to know something? Once we found one of the like jumbo eggs like a little bit bigger they have two yolks in them so they look bigger than regular eggs so if you're gonna use those oven's ready oven is ready time to get the yolk off my hand Drop my hands. Pour the eggs in. They just plop right in. Now it's for hand for two minutes, so. Two. Oh, oh. Timer again. There you go. There you go. Well, 
start to change into a battery liquid. This is chocolate. Make sure you get all the batter. Batter won't taste very good without being mixed. You want to put it down so you can stir it better. You want to get all the clumps out. You don't want clumpy mixture. I don't know exactly why. Well, because then it, it'll bake and you'll have... Oh, you'll have clumpy mm -hmm. cake or whatever you're making. So we have these dyes over there that we're going to try to dye the frosting. So... We just have purple frosting. We sprinkles. Funfetti vanilla artificially flavored frosting with little llama sprinkles and this kind of reminds, reminds me of Fortnite sprinkles. Stir. Gotta get it all stirred in there. You can you can go to the edge and then flip it over to get the batter that's on the bottom. And you also want to get the sides, so you want to scrape. Yeah. Oh, that's two minutes, but you were talking for a few minutes. Like a few seconds. Like a. <laughs> we have to stir extra. So when will two minutes be up? And then just stir it in good. Make sure there's no brown, light brown. Unless it. Unless it's... Make sure you go to the bottom. Scrape real good, yeah. Give it a couple really good whooshies. What do you call this trick? Fold. You fold the batter. Not with your hands. Make this look good. Alright, now grab your pan. Bring it back over here. So, how you know when a cake is ready is you stick like a knife or this is toothpick. Have adult supervision when baking, unless you're an adult yourself. Scrape. <laughs> you got a little pumper. Go over the side. Right, you want to? I can you know. Can you scrape the side? <laughs> the side of the bowl falling the bowl. And the right. batter. Alright. All right. That's good. Just like that part. Alright. Get that part. Don't lick it yet. It comes after. It's on my finger. Okay. Keep it in the bowl, child. <laughs> Then spread it around. Yeah, she look. It's like half of it's in there. Cause she wants to lick it. Don't. I'm trying. I, mm, I know what you're doing. My arms. My arms tired. And so is mine. Is that? Okay, that's good. Now spread it out in the. Still and get any little, there. little clumps there that might not have mixed. So you want to make it kind of level, flat. But you just kind of do this. Mm. Yep. Make sure it goes to... Make sure it's even. Yes, as even as you can get yeah. it. But if not, all the batter will be able to get in. Because <laughs> it will stick to the bowl if you don't really 
scrape it. It's over there in that corner. I bet you are. I thought I saw some batter, okay? All right, make sure it's all in the corners. And a good thing to do to get the air bubbles oh, out. Oh, there is some batter. So we just squish it around. There you go. To get the air bubbles out, take both sides and put the thing in there. Take each side and gent gently, because we don't want to break the thing, tap it on the counter. Just set it down on the counter. Oh, a little bit harder than that. Okay, a couple times. Okay, you're getting air bubbles out. Okay. So how long do we cook it for? So this says. Down here. Ah. So we're Big using time. thirteen Thir by nine. Thirteen by nine, so what's it say? So it gives us a range, thirty to thirty five minutes right here. So I usually do in the middle of that. So I like thirty two minutes. And then we'll check it at 32 minutes. So we will set the timer. Okay, so get your pot holders. Open this. So open the oven, don't get burned. That hurt very much. Make, sure make sure you have pot holders. Have, or have an adult do it for you. But always have adult supervision. Alright, we gotta move the thing up a level. So those aren't pot holders. Can I not use these? Nope. Those are mats. No care. I wanna just okay. I'm gonna just hold on. The pot holder. It helps you so you don't burn okay. your hands. So now you're gonna set it on. Yeah, I burnt my hands once. Okay, here. With the oh, there's a little hand. Oh. Can't use it. Okay. That's sweet. That's nice. Okay, just sit down. You're letting all the heat out. Got it. I don't. Okay, now push it in. All right. Close the oven. Okay, now what do we set the timer at? 32 minutes. So up there. Timer. 30. Two. Zero. Zero. All right. In 32 minutes, we'll check it. We'll stick a knife in it. Yes. And then we will. And then we have to let it cool, and then we'll frost and it. And then we will frost it in front of y'all. <laughs> All right. No. There might be a part two. In like 32 minutes. Maybe by. Okay, guys, so now we're just checking it. Did you put it all the way in? All right, so it's clean, which means it's done. So get your pot holder. Mostly clean it. There's like one. Okay, careful. Watch where you're at. Can you lean over and... Nope, put it on the um, oven. Yeah. Okay, now close this. Oven. Turn it off. Alright, so now we have to let it cool. For 10 minutes. No, cool until it's cool. And then, when it's completely, we can frost it. We so we'll probably wait a little while, so. Right. See you on that time. Okay, wait. Maybe bye. That might. Yeah. Okay, guys, so the ready to be frosted. So we have this, and that, and these. We have neon pink, purple, neon green. And the orange vanilla frosting, purple frosting with sprinkles, with sprung. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. 
Sarinha. So, let's see what some vanilla frosting looks like. Where's the one? We gotta get a bowl. Yeah, I know. Frosting. So it's like jellish. Mm -hmm. Do y'all see that? It comes out like really jellish. I want hot pink. It comes out red. Alright, that's plenty for that amount. You're going to use all of it. It kind of looks like um, raspberry jam. Sort of. But I wouldn't know because I don't like raspberry. Frosting, you don't want to get it on your hands. We took gel food colors. Oh, I guess that's why it looks like gel. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. on my palm. It doesn't taste bad. If anything, it, I think it improves it. Mm -hmm. doing? It still has more to stir. Oh, that's nice and nice pink. That's a really nice pink. It looks like darker, I feel, and it, 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 I feel like this, the camera makes it seem lighter. Mm -hmm. Almost got, oh.
They wanted you to wait for Make it. Make sure you, you have to put enough frosting in. I know why they wanted you to let it completely cool. It peels. Just make sure you have enough frosting. Don't keep. That's why it's doing it. You gotta put a big lot. There you go. detail comes after the first layer. I'm trying my best, mother. <laughs> don't be like, oh geez. Well, you just don't listen. supervision but so This is a 
part you don't want to mess up at. When frosting, there's part. I need to spruce that up. That worked perfect right there. <laughs> frosting. <laughs> hmm, what can I get? Does that look good? This is stressful. Move yourself over here, Missy. Or blend in. I think they just look like watching. <laughs> I hope you all find this useful. <laughs> oh, and if you're gonna hate on this video, please don't. <laughs> if you don't like it, just leave the video. Don't watch it. Oh, if you're here, then you like it and you're just scared to admit it. I must use all these for okay. sparkles. Does this look good? Mm -hmm. Or do you eat this? Yeah. Well, you are going to eat it. is a butter knife. All right. 